NFL game ticket is up by more than $100 this year from 235 uh, last year to 377 this year. So if there is an economic slowdown, will people cut back on going to games? I doubt it. Here to discuss that and much more, Jeff Miller, the NFL's executive vice president of communications and public affairs. You know, prices are uh, moving up. I think that's a healthy sign for you on the secondary market. My numbers indicate 435 2023 versus 358 last year. This is a healthy sign for you and your business, isn't it? Well, first, thanks for having me. Uh, but it's been it's been a great season thus far. Um, and when it comes to tickets, we've seen season ticket renewals at an all time high. I think last week we sold uh, more seats than we have in any one week since 2010. So fans are coming to the stadiums. Uh, ratings are up. And all of that is because the games have been great. We've seen about 70 percent of all of our games decided by one score in the fourth quarter. So we see a lot of drama, a lot of really good competition, and, of course, a great game of football brings a lot of viewers. I was in one of those seats, uh, soggy though it was, at Giant Stadium on Sunday, <laughs> I must say. And it was a very close game, very competitive game. Let's talk about your initiatives in Europe. You know, I think the NBA has been brilliant at how they have played the international card. They have attracted a lot of international players. You have a big game this weekend in Frankfurt. Miami is playing, I forget, who is Miami playing? Kansas City, Miami and the Chiefs, two of the most right. high-profile, uh, attractive teams going. How is the international uh, initiative going, and what is the ultimate sort of end game for you? Is it a team in Frankfurt or London or both? Well, right now, uh, it's, a, it's a major strategic priority for us to become more and more of a global sport. And we've been playing games in, in London for about the you know last number of years and selling them out regularly and very quickly. We started games in Germany last year, playing two, and we'll repeat that again this year, as you mentioned, with one game in Frankfurt on Sunday and then the uh, Pats and the Colts the following week. And what's remarkable is, is the demand. We've had between about four and a half million people looking for tickets for those games in incredibly short order. So it's a great atmosphere. Um, about 18 percent of, of uh, I'm sorry, about 18 million uh, people in Germany identify as NFL fans. And so we're looking to bring the best product to our fans across the globe increasingly. And we'll look for more in, in other markets in the coming years as well. So it's on the topic of the Chiefs. I am going to ask the question. Has there been a Taylor Swift impact? How are you thinking about that? Have you quantified it? Well, I did notice that the sales of Travis Kelsey jerseys uh, increased, I think, by about 400 percent after the first time that she was at a game. So we'll take that as a plus. Uh, as far as as far as ratings go or, or fans in the stadiums, those have been incredibly high throughout the year. And we want to you know, we believe it's because it's a great game and we, because we, we bring great value uh, to our fans. But um, if if um, fans are interested for any number of reasons, including uh, Taylor Swift attending the games and they're new to football for the first time, then they're welcomed in. And I think once they're they're in the game, they're, they're going to stay with it. We had a big media move off season Sunday ticket moving to YouTube from DirecTV. How's it going so far? How do the audiences compare? Uh, it's been great so far. YouTube has been a terrific partner, um, put a lot of emphasis on it. Both they and Amazon uh, for our Thursday night package, uh, where you saw the games last night, um, have really driven uh, audiences up and younger. And that's part of what we need to do because we need to find our fans where they are. Our, our incumbent broadcasters, CBS, Fox, NBC, have always done a great job, and most of our fans still find the games that way. But increasingly, younger fans, uh, more demographics are interested in streaming and, and being able to watch the games mobile. And so we need to be where they are. Um, the YouTube uh, relationship is off to a great start. Uh, the Amazon games are going gangbusters. And so we're really excited about both of those uh, new avenues for the league as well. I do want to ask about a topic that's been getting a lot of attention lately, and that's uh, NFL officiating. Whether you think there's actually a problem there and if there is, what the solutions could be. Well, I don't think a year goes by where, where people aren't concerned about certain calls, especially if they go out, if they, they go against their own team. Uh, it's, it's an incredibly difficult profession and one that our officials, I think, do a terrific job at. We'll always look to get better. Uh, there will always be, you know, questionable calls in a game. And that's why we've used new technologies and replay and added different uh, protocols uh, in, in our games to make sure that we can get as many calls as we can correct. And our officials do a great job of that. But is that ever going to stop um, somebody seeing something on television a little bit differently, maybe based on who they're rooting for, than what we see, what our officials see in a stadium? That's been the case for years and years. We'll always look to get better, but it's always going to be a point of conversation. Jeff Miller, thanks very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Jeff Miller with the National Football League. You bet.